Good morning, everybody. Hello. Hi. Welcome to Online Storytime. Hello. I'm Miss Haley, and I'm so glad that you guys are here with me today. We're going to have a whole lot of fun. We're going to read a book. We're going to sing some songs, and it's going to be a great time. Um, so before we get started, let's sing our welcome song. Are you guys ready? Do you remember how it goes? Oh, okay. Ready? Here we go. Welcome, welcome, everyone. Now you're here, let's have some fun. First we'll sing our ABCs. Then we'll read and sing with me. Welcome, welcome, everyone. Now you're here, let's have some fun. Oh, great job, everybody. Let's go ahead and sing it one more time. Ready? Okay. Welcome, welcome everyone. Now you're here, let's have some fun. First we'll sing our ABCs, then we'll read and sing with me. Welcome, welcome everyone. Now you're here, let's have some fun. Yay! Oh, fantastic! All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna sing our ABCs. Do you guys remember your ABCs? <laughs> you do? Oh, very good. Alrighty, let's sing our ABCs, ready? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Oh, great job. See, you guys are pros at your ABCs. And you know what Miss Haley loves to do. I love to make it harder. So we are going to sing our ABCs to London Bridges. You guys are ready for this? We've done this one before, so it should be pretty easy. Okay, we're still gonna go pretty slow though. Ready? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Oh, very good. Let's do it one more time, maybe a teeny tiny bit faster. Ready? Okay, hold on. We just did it and I already forgot. See, it's hard sometimes. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Oh, great job, you guys. You're amazing. All right, we're gonna move on to our book. Oh my goodness, and our book is by the author, Kyle Lukoff. We recently did a Zoom call with him and it is going to be up on our Facebook page and on our YouTube page, so if you happen to miss it, you can still go and see him read his own books and talk about being an author. Alrighty, and the book that we're reading today isn't one that he read during his talk. We are going to be reading a storytelling of ravens. Can you guys see what's on the cover of this book? There's some birds. I think they're ravens. Do you want to count how many ravens there are? Looks like there's one, two, three. Yep, there are three ravens. So this book is interesting. Did you know that different animals, groups of animals have different names for each other? So like a herd of cows can be one, um, or a pod of dolphins, a group of animals of all the same animal all have different names. And this book tells about some of those different names for groups of animals. So let's find out some different animals and see what they're called. All right, are you guys ready? And I love the pictures in this book. It's by Natalie Nelson did the pictures. Okay, are you ready? 
Here we go. The nuisance of cats blamed it on the dog. Oh no, a nuisance of cats. How many kitty cats are there? Can we count? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six kitty cats. Oh my goodness. And then how many red ones do you see? Two red ones. One, two. Oh, good job. Let's see what other animals we're going to find out. Oh, this is a good one. What animal is that? Do you know? They're elephants. The memory of elephants knew the peanut field had to be around here somewhere. And there's this sign saying, pecans this way, peanuts that way, sunflowers this way, almonds that way. Oh, this one's a fun one. What are those? Do you know what they are? Those are some jellyfish. The smack of jellyfish. Isn't that a funny name for a group of jellyfish? The smack of jellyfish had never seen a glass-bottomed boat before. Ooh. Oh, here's a good one. What are these? <gasps> They're monkeys or apes. The shrewdness of apes loved the new arrangement. Now everyone would get a snack. Oh, what snack are they having? What do monkeys love to eat? Bananas! <laughs> you are so correct. Bananas. Whoops, I skipped a page. Let's go back. Here we go. <gasps> what are these? Sheep. And what do sheep say? Do you guys know? Bah. Very good. The trip of sheep looked away in embarrassment. Philomena never could keep her footing. Uh-oh. This must be Philomena. She must, she must be tripping. Do you get it? The trip of sheep. And she's tripping. That's funny. Oh no, silly sheep. Uh-oh. What are these? Frogs or toads? What's happening to their tongues? Oh no, they're all tangled up. The knot of toads didn't know what to do. Everyone wanted the fly, but not that badly. Ew. Gross. I don't think I would like to tangle tongues up like that. That's gross. The tower of giraffes didn't know where this new tree had come from, but it was delicious. What kind of tree is that? It's a Christmas tree. That's pretty funny. Ooh, the bloat of hippopotamuses raced up the river. Five words. Explosion at the cupcake factory. Ooh, I would like an explosion at the cupcake factory. I feel like that would be a good place to go get cupcakes then. The storytelling of ravens waited impatiently for Franklin to finish. They had heard about the big storm of 78 15 times already. This must be Franklin telling them the story that they've heard 15 times already. Oh my goodness, that's a lot. The sloth of bears didn't want to forage anymore. Let the food come to them for a change. They didn't want to go hunting for their own food. They wanted somebody to bring their food to them. Oh my goodness, look at those lazy bears. Oh, this book is hard to turn pages. All right, here we go. The ostentation of peacocks suspected an intruder in their midst. Uh-oh. Can you guys find the intruder? Which one is it? Is it this one? No. What about this one? This one looks really suspicious. No. <gasps> this one. No. Oh, it's this one? It's the red one? <gasps> you're right. I think you're right. 
It just stole some feathers and taped them on. It's not really a peacock. It's the wrong color and it doesn't have enough feathers. Oh, silly bird. The business of ferrets had an important deal to discuss. If Gerald would just finish up at the water cooler. That's pretty funny. Look at this little ferret drinking out of the pond. Everybody else is waiting on him. They have important ferret business to discuss. The Parliament of Owls expected the bill to pass unanimously. That means everybody agrees. But there was one lone hoot of dissent. So they thought that everybody was going to agree, but this owl said no. I don't know what the bill was about. But important owl business. The exultation of larks cheered. Everybody go hip hip hooray. Good job. The Hollow Bones was their favorite band. Woo, yeah. Look at them, it's like they're at a concert. My goodness. And guess what? That is the end. So instead of animals, what if it was a bunch of books? What would you call it? I think I would call it a library of books. That's pretty funny, right? <laughs> All right, we're gonna move on to our song. Are you guys ready? All right, so this song is more of a little rhyme, but it's all about animals and actions they do, okay? So you're gonna need to stand up for this one. Oh, good job. I'm gonna stay sitting, but you guys can stand up and do stuff. Are you guys ready? Okay, so the first one we're gonna do is we're gonna crouch down low and we're gonna jump like a frog three times. Ready? <gasps> jump, jump, jump. Oh, great job. Then we're going to stretch like a cat. Very good. Next, we're gonna hop like bunnies. Go hop, hop, hop. Very good. And then flap like a bat. We're gonna wiggle like a worm. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. And slither like a snake. And then we're gonna be wet like a dog and shake, shake, shake. Oh, good job. All right, do you guys remember all of that? Okay, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it a little bit faster and all together, ready? All right, jump like a frog. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Stretch like a cat. Meow, meow. Good job. Hop like a bunny. Very good. And flap like a bat. <laughs> wiggle like a worm. Wiggle, 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 And slither like a snake. And be wet like a dog. Oof. And shake, shake, shake. Good job, everybody. Oh my goodness, I got a little bit dizzy doing that. What about you guys? <laughs> Maybe just a little bit? Yeah. All right, that's it for our story time. We're gonna sing our goodbye song and then you guys can stick around for a couple of announcements. Um, but thank you everybody for coming. Let's say goodbye, you ready? Thanks for sitting, thanks for listening, Thanks for tuning in today. Now that story time is over, hope you have a lovely day. Good job, let's sing it a couple more times, ready? Thanks for sitting, thanks for listening, thanks for tuning in today. Now that story time is over, hope you have a lovely day. All right, last time. Thanks for sitting, thanks for listening, thanks for tuning in today. Now that story time 
is over. Hope you have a lovely day. Oh, very good. Thank you guys for coming. I just have a couple of quick announcements. We are still doing our regularly scheduled activities that we've been doing online. So we have our Lego club virtually. We have creative kids, um, which are different kid crafts. We have little chefs, which are different kid um, recipes that you can do with your little ones that are kind of themed to holidays and all sorts of fun stuff. Um, if you've missed any of that, you can always go back and check it out online. We are skipping an adult craft for the month of March, but we'll be back in April with one of those. Um, so very exciting about that. Um, let's see, what else do we have? And we have three more authors coming up um, over the course of uh, March and April. Um, so our next author, I don't fully remember how to pronounce her name, but I believe it is Aisha Saeed, and she's going to be coming and doing a Zoom tour um, or a Zoom um, visit on March 23rd. Um, and you can get all of the info and dates for all of those different events on our Facebook page and on our calendar on our website. Um, you will find out more information all about that, and you can also add them to like, you know, if you're interested or going, then it'll remind you on Facebook. So. I'm very excited to have all of that. And then we are also obviously still doing our story times um, Monday through Friday if you guys wanted to tune in to these as well and continue tuning in. Um, I don't remember if I mentioned it or not, but we do have our author visit of Kyle um, with Kyle Lukoff, the author of the book that I just read. Uh, it is available on YouTube and on our Facebook page to go watch it, but it'll only be available for a week. So you have a limited amount of time um, before we have to pull it. Uh, due to publisher and copyright issues. So um, go check that out if you haven't. Be on the lookout for all sorts of more exciting things. Um, contact your branches um, for if they're open or not, um, for computers or for browsing. Um, and then we're also obviously open for curbside everywhere. So thank you guys for coming and I will see you next time. Bye.